You know, before giving our dog rough greens, he was so sad and lazy, and now he's still lazy like all dogs are. He doesn't participate at all, doesn't contribute anything to the family. Okay, so Greta uh, Thunberg, or Thunberg, Thunberg, uh, I, I, you know, I haven't said anything about this story up until now because um, I don't care that much, but there is one aspect of it that really grinds my gears, as Peter Griffin might say. Greta is a 16-year-old climate change activist from Sweden who was invited to um, speak in front of a a UN assembly in New York for some reason. I mean, of all the people in the world who maybe could speak on the issue of climate change, uh, they said, let's get this 16-year-old in there. Okay. It's strange. Everyone always asks me about Donald Trump. (laughs) Uh, But, I mean, my message for him is just listen to the science and he obviously doesn't do that so I mean I as I always say to this question if if any no one has been able to convince him about the climate crisis the the urgency then why should I be able to do that so I'm just going to to now focus on on spreading awareness no it's just it's 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 manipulative. It's, it's exploitative. You know, adults know that, okay, well, I mean, I could go out and say this stuff uh, and no one's going to pay, pay attention. But if I put these thoughts and words into the mouth of a child and do that gimmick, well, now people are going to pay attention. So it's exploitative in that way. And CNN even brought him on for an interview uh, several years ago. And here's what that looked like. Let's talk about yeah. this. Uh, what inspired you to get folks to be straw free? Well, um, sometimes I think we forget that every straw we use, every piece of plastic, will be here on Earth, somewhere on Earth, even when my grandchildren are born. Giving a TED Talk to a group of adults. Hi, my name is Molly Steer, and I'm nine years old, and I've just found out that straws really do suck. It was all just another giant virtue signaling exercise, another petty power grab by the collection of meddling little tyrants who look for every conceivable way, no matter how small, to control our behavior. And when I say meddling little tyrants, to be clear, I'm not talking about the nine-year-old kids. I'm talking about the people who use those nine-year-old kids as a pretense to control yet another seemingly small aspect of your life. By the way, I haven't done these calculations myself. I found them on a random WordPress blog, and I'm just assuming that they're correct.